It's been nearly a year. I heard the window shattering. Since 15 tornadoes ripped through the Miami Valley. And actually a neighbor is the one that told me that my roof was gone off the top of my house. And now a new challenge. Uh, the coronavirus has, has disrupted our timeline. While many have been advised to stay at home. I have a new compassion for homeless people. Some don't even have the option. No, we just don't want people to give up hope. Tonight, how COVID-19 has impacted our neighbors who were already in a fight to recover and what community organizations are doing to power through this pandemic in an effort to help those still struggling. It's been a year now since the Memorial Day tornado outbreaks, and it's still emotional to see people's homes and lives being demolished. But thankfully, with the help of community partnership programs, they are helping to put these people's lives back together. That sound is all that's left of Christine Krieger's home. Everything looked okay until I actually opened my front door. A violent EF4 tornado ripped it apart on Memorial Day 2019. Most of my porch was gone and the roof was gone. Since then, Christine and her family have been living in temporary housing. You know, we had to stay in a shelter for almost two weeks. I have a new compassion for homeless people. <laughs> Christine's story represents so many from across the Miami Valley when the 15 Memorial Day tornadoes hit. Storm Center 7 has learned that more than one third of them, like Christine, did not have insurance. That means the tornadoes and hail cost them upwards of $200 million in home damage. We're just very grateful. Uh, Habitat for Humanity is building us a brand new home. But now a different type of outbreak is keeping that dream from becoming reality. Everything in a pandemic, everything kind of goes out the window. <laughs> Before COVID-19, the Miami Valley Long-Term Recovery Operations Group, with the help of community partners and volunteer teams, was scheduled to kick off mid-April major repairs and rebuilding operations for the hundreds of tornado damaged properties across the Miami Valley. The goal for uh, tornado recovery is to help people who do not have the means to recover on their own. Of the 419 homeowners who've contacted Laura Mercer's group for help, 287 of them are underinsured or uninsured. The virus has delayed their plan. So the one thing that it has really disrupted is the volunteers that we would be able to accept from out of state. Volunteer coordinator Emmy Fabic says that's left many projects without people to work on them. Well, they can't move their equipment even to the state of Ohio yet because of the stay at home orders and now the stay safe orders. It's not just the lack of people slowing the projects down, but the volunteer safety and dangers of working in larger groups. It has to be very small teams, teams of maybe four, five max. Small teams never mean hope is lost. Work with proper protection gear is slower, but the important thing is work is still being done. Right now we are focusing on exterior work, demolition work, things that could be done uh, without the homeowners being inside of the properties. Blade Cutters Inc. is one of the businesses helping out. Hired by Habitat for Humanity, Christine's home demolition was completed. It's one of the last uh, few of the houses still needs to be down. Now that the stay at home order has been lifted, um, we'll be able to hit the ground running to be able to move things forward. When are you hoping that next phase to begin? You know, that really depends on uh, the public health officials and the governor's um, words. We Until sure then, well. planning and prepping continues. We're working now um, and have been for several weeks uh, leveraging contractors. Uh, the coronavirus has, has disrupted our timeline, but we will still be doing this vital work. As for Christine and her family, they're excited about the future and cannot wait to call Old North Dayton home again. And everybody's just been so helpful.